Wheelchair users have long appreciated the space set aside for them on buses, but if someone puts a baby buggy there first, that's tough, according to a Court of Appeal ruling today. Richard Pallow reports now on the judgment and the reaction to it. For Doug Pooley, the local buses in and around Leeds are his lifeline. And on this afternoon service, he found plenty of room. In contrast to what he faced in February two years ago. Then a mother with a pushchair refused to move her sleeping baby from the designated disabled bay, leaving him stranded. If wheelchair users aren't using it, I don't have a problem with other people using it. But if a wheelchair user needs it, then that's the only place they can be on the bus and they must have priority. Originally, Doug won damages against the vehicle's operator's first group after their wheelchair policy was deemed discriminatory. But the Court of Appeal has overturned that judgment, saying the needs of wheelchair users don't trump all other considerations. Well, the important issue today is that we've now got clarification and much needed clarification for passengers, for drivers and the industry that we can follow our policy. So as it stands tonight, if someone doesn't want to move for whatever reason, on whatever public transport, they don't have to. And for disabled MP Anne Begg, the law is simply not clear enough. In a lot of cases, whether it's wearing of seat belts or not driving with alcohol, people will obey the law if the law is clear. And I think we, we really don't have clarity as yet in exactly who has ultimate priority when it comes to using these wheelchair spaces. Only new legislation in Parliament or the Supreme Court can now change that. In their ruling here, the judges said that in such situations, something must still be left to the conscience and good sense of the individual. So when this inevitably happens again somewhere across the UK, the ramifications will not be legal ones, merely moral. Richard Palo, ITV News, at the Court of Appeal.